Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be doing a good old night walk like I promised going through some random woods or trail in the dark and exploring while we do have our daily incense on. I'm going to have to say during this first one here I was really not paying attention to the daily incense spawns even though we do have roar of time on as well. I just was not in the zone and we're going to be encountering quite a few interesting things or at least I should say a interesting thing as well as hatching a shiny. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and get into this. Now, let me go ahead and explain if you're new here or if you didn't, I don't know, get the message when I did deliver this. We are going to be doing three different series here and shoot, we might just continue it, but we're going to be doing this for Halloween where we do, well, I kind of decided this last night as to what I'm going to actually, uh, or how I'm going to go about this. Essentially, fear level one, and this is just going to be a my troll at night and very simple stuff, no problem. We are going to venture into a place where I did actually create all of the Pokestops as well as the gym. I did have a route there, but crazy enough, somebody, um, I can't say particularly, I, as much as I want to throw out a nasty word or call names or something like that and say that, you know, they reported me and they're this and that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was Niantic that removed it, but crazy enough, that route that was there that I made is quite literally the exact same route that I put there so I made Pokestops as well as a gym and a route so the route's back but somebody else has it there as their name so yeah there's that anyways what we're going to do here is go into level one this is the easy one right we're just going to go down my back alley trail and venture through the baseball field at night it was extremely windy and rainy at that too but I had a blast nonetheless and it was a good time Second stage is what we're going to do is go into a uh, homeless camp area. We're not going to walk through their camp because I'm not trying to, ooh, I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to get demonetized, but let's just say I'm not trying to get uh, Jason Voorhees or something like that. Uh, I did look up and I have been seeing a few articles about how the homeless camps are starting to become a lot more sinister. They did just recently find a particular person in a cooler. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty nuts. And so I feel like uh, fear level two should be good walking around a camp. And for the fear level three, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to really up the ante to see what we can pull off here. Uh, but with that said, Let's see what we have. This is just a fun little chat and talk. So before we get to our spot here, hold on, I got to pull up my notes. We got this particular time. So what we're going to do is around five minutes, 37 seconds, I'm going to actually let the um, audio from where I was play. So you can just hear the rain, see the experience. I'm going to talk and then I'm actually going to, I don't want to spoil it, encounter something. So not trying to be rude or I'm just I'm not trying to, you know, give away what we're going to have to see here. Um, and uh, yeah, just going to have a little fun here. So a little backstory. I grew up on this trail. Uh, this is my neighborhood. I didn't grow up in the house that I was, or should I say the apartment that I'm in, uh, but it was a neighborhood over and I've been here since I was a baby. Uh, these are my stomping grounds. My mom used to take me riding on this trail with a bike. My dad used to take me riding on this trail on my bike. My dad was such a big biker and also took me to the baseball field on walks all the time that we are gonna see here in just a little bit. And I do have quite a bit of an attachment to this place here. And it feels really nice that I actually made all these Pokestops and this gym here. And it's kind of my own little area, uh, you know, for me to grind when I you know, wanna get away here as I go down my trail. So what you're gonna see is something very interesting. Now, this place, this baseball field, is a, a little league place, okay, for children, right? So we have little kids coming over here and playing baseball during a particular season, and it is maintained, and they do, you know, keep up with all the work. 
but what you're gonna see is something that pisses me off immensely and the homelessness has risen which i do sympathize with some of the homeless i say some because a lot of them choose to be this way uh, i'm not going to get into what i you know all that right now but um essentially they have trashed it so what you're going to see is me being a little bit open and how i feel i cut out a lot of it because it is going to get a little bit nuts so uh let's see what we have going on here but with that said enjoy the rest of this here and um well sit back relax and uh let's see what we have going on here Come on, keep it moving. This is getting good.
Stay out here. <laughs> Get him, girl. <laughs> Hello, who's in here? Are you living in here? Are you just you're just looking for a place for shelter? Huh? A safe place. Okay. This whole place is being trashed. That's why we got a problem. This whole place is being trashed. Fair enough. I'm not blaming you. It's okay. I'm not here to fucking rat you out to the cops. Hi. Thank you. Hi, hi, how you doing? I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave you be. Well, as a matter of fact, you can stay here until it gets cold. But you better... How do you... How do you... What, what's gonna happen when it's cold? What do you do? No, you're fine. You're good. You can stay here. What are you, you going to do when it gets cold? I was probably going to try to get a hold of my grandma or something. How did you get here? Not not like in here, in here, but how did you get to this spot where you're at? Mainly, yeah, drugs. Drugs? But I've stopped them for a while. Fentanyl or no. meth? Meth? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I'm not here to fucking call the cops. Okay. I'm fine. I'm not gonna do that shit. Okay. How about I fuck off? I'll leave you alone. All right. Just take care of yourself. Well, you have a good night. Okay. Take care. Take care. All right, so there you go, folks. Pretty intense stuff here. I mean, it's not that intense, but uh, in my experience, this is not new. Uh, this is, happens pretty much every year, and uh, what's going on here is they're destroying these places. And if she seemed nice and everything, and I'm not trying to talk down against this lady, but what happens is they take over these places, they destroy them. This is where children come to play freaking baseball, okay? And then these people have to refurbish it. I mean, I don't know what it's going to take for them to like, you know, eventually just shut it down. I don't know if that's going to actually happen, but it seems almost impossible to combat these people because it's a simple baseball field with a fenced off area. Yes, I got in there. There is an area technically shouldn't be in there, but I go in there. I pick up trash. I take care of business, but this is just nuts. Um, the, there was other people who are leaving needles and all kinds of things around and it was just absurd so you know I take a little bit of an annoyance to this when I see it so yeah there's the first level one folks I had a lot more I wanted to say but I didn't want to make this too long and I wanted to keep it short and sweet for you to enjoy uh, hopefully you did enjoy it if you did if you can give it a thumbs up that'd be much appreciated really do appreciate all of the support here and like I said 
what kind of shiny there it is pan champ right at the end i didn't even care i was just like this is intense let's get it home thank you for watching and i'll catch you all next time take care